Hello artists and welcome to Art Studio 5. Remember to like and subscribe. On today's episode, we'll be learning about mannerism and an artist by the name of Giuseppe Archimboldo. During our studio time together, we'll be making funny fruit faces. And because we have a lot of content on fruits and vegetables today, I have a funny joke for you. Here's my little lemon guy. What do you give a lemon that's not feeling well? You give it lemonade, of course. He's feeling so much better now. <laughs> Let's get started. Mannerism, meaning style or manner, came after the Renaissance period of the arts. Giuseppe Archimboldo, one of the most famous Italian mannerist painters, was one of the best still life and portrait artists of the 16th century. Here you see a self-portrait that he did of himself in the frame. Vastly different from the self-portraits that we just saw, Archimboldo invented a new way of painting portraits using flowers, fruits, animals, books, and other everyday objects in a composition to resemble a human face. Here you're looking at The Librarian by Archimboldo, which was done in 1566. How many books can you find in this painting? Archimboldo's style is typical of the Mannerist style because it is humorous. Delightfully making faces out of fruits and books and everyday objects was certainly a new and bizarre idea. Take a look at this painting. It looks just like a fruit basket, right? Well, let's see what happens when we turn it upside down. Can you see it? Do you spot the cheeks, the nose, the eyes, the chin, the hat and the hair? On this piece entitled Fruit Basket by Archimboldo, which was done in 1590. I'm gonna share a fun, fancy word with you today. The word is pareidolia. Pareidolia is a natural human phenomenon of recognizing faces and things that we look at. See if you can find faces in the following images. Are you ready to make an Archimboldo fruit face? The materials list is really simple. All you need is a flat surface to work on, such as a table or a floor, and a bunch of fruits and vegetables from around the house. If you're low on fruits and vegetables in your house, just look around for other everyday objects, such as books, office supplies, or toys. Here's a couple samples I made for you. If you do this project, Tag me on Instagram at artstudio5 or post a picture in the comments below. I would love to see what you're creating. Thanks for stopping by today. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Comment below as well. And I would love to see if you included some of your pictures in my comments as well of some of the artwork that you've been creating along with me during our art studio time together. Here's an art studio high five for you. I'll see you next time.